I'm chilling out in the car and I got the tablet here so I thought I would have a listen to Armored Skeptic who is apparently the hero of reason and atheism and skepticism respond to Steve Shives who was a terrible shitty regressive feminist guy and you know Armored Skeptic had this great awakening and he realized he was the most rational and well-informed man and it was like something just happened to him and he became he got his armor he became a fucking hero and he's the most rational guy that anyone will ever meet and so I'm sure that his response to Steve Shives on feminism is gonna be razor sharp and he's just gonna decimate him with some logic logic bombs he goes a car so let's have a listen and let's see Steve Shives get decimated by the incredible armored skeptic who is so good at making arguments. There is no human institution that has done so much in so many cultures across such a long period of time to hold women down as organized religion. Okay. Well, for starters, what do you mean by okay? Is that a reasoned and logical argument? I thought you were part of the crowd that has a big problem with the way that Muslims, for example, treat women and the way women have been treated by Christians. And those are valid concerns to have. So what do you mean by, okay? Like this is the reasoned um, armored skeptic. Just okay. All right, good, good argument, man. For most of the history of civilization, the proposition that women ought to be treated equally to men was just as radical as the proposition that gods did not exist. Well, that's arguably false, but I feel compelled to point out, Stephen, that there are parts of the Western world that still think that the idea of saying there is no god is radical. But the only people who, in mass, I hear perpetuating the concept that women are not equal to men are third-wave feminists. So another substantial point there by the armored skeptic using his reasoning and skeptic skills to make a really just nuanced deep point that that's arguably false fantastic like you know there's really a lot to sort of get your head around there arguably false mm, we're really good but i would argue that that's arguably false so your argu arguably false is arguably false i've just out reasoned you bro you know so how are you gonna get how are you gonna respond to that and then the next thing is, um, he's like, well, the people really holding women down and saying they're second class citizens are third wave, wave feminists. Wonderful. Just fantastic. But, you know, I think atheists are the ones holding down women. Citation? Oh, I don't need one. I'm, a, I'm just a deep rationalist. I can just say things and they're just true. That's how skepticism works. You say things... And it's true, because you're a great rationalist. Seriously, is this the kind of argument that people are putting forth? Like, whether or not you think that feminism is good today, or whether it's like a valid concept in the 21st century, whether you think that it's progressed in a negative sense, like Tumblr femi feminism is bad, and we really need to look at these systems to improve them, how can you say that you're a skeptic and this is the argument you make it's just based on your gut feeling it's like okay feminism is bad i don't like it oh it's terrible therefore wow i'm a skeptic no fuck that like put effort into being a skeptic otherwise you're just going to make the term meaningless you know he has put forth no arguments as far as i'm concerned it just seems like he doesn't like steve shives and I get it. A lot of people don't like Steve Shives. A lot of people don't like feminism. But that doesn't mean you can't just put forth no argument and then call yourself some kind of rational genius. Because so far, this is not going well. But maybe Mr. Skeptic has some awesome points coming up. 
Atheism can also refer to the community of atheists or the body of work produced by that community. Yes, there is an atheist community, but that community is connected by only one thing, and that is the fact that they have a shared disbelief in a god. You cannot just start tacking on other things to that community without getting a fight, regardless of your motivation and regardless of how noble your cause is. Just because two organizations or two groups have one thing in common does not mean that they are compatible. Different angle now, and it's dark because the light's behind me. But Ahmed Skeptic there is sort of taking part in some very opportunistic logic because he's saying, well, the thing about atheism is it's literally just the disbelief in God. There is no value system to atheism. And you could say, well, okay, that's a good point. Like, that's logically true. If you look at the dictionary of definition, it's just disbelief in God, and that's about it. But then you can't say that the atheist community doesn't share a lot of talking points. I can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody say, like, Islam is not a race. Whether or not that's true. I mean, it is true. Islam is not a race. But I think you can talk about things that are not races racistly. For example, you could be like, I'm so goddamn sick of these money-grubbing poles. I mean, in your mind, that would probably conjure up a white dude. It wouldn't conjure up, like, some African guy. And maybe you'd have an image of, like, a money-grubbing Jew or something. And then I could just say, I'm, it's not racist. It's not racist to say Polish people are subhumans, you know? It's not racist to say that dirty, brown, bearded, stupid Muslims are disgusting. That's not racist. I mean, Muslims are not a race. And I was talking about Muslims. No, it, it's opportunism. You can use these things to talk about things racistly. And I think that's an obvious and a blatant point, but every single time you go online, like on the Twitter machine, and you see the atheists, some atheist is like, yeah, but Islam's not a race, because Richard Dawkins said it at some point. And then like 10 other atheists are like, yeah, Islam's not a race. And then another guy's like, good point, that's so original, it's not like we just got told that point and now we can't stop repeating it. And the kind of thought leaders of the atheist community they tell the atheists all of these talking points and if you're not on the side of kind of like the atheist community quote unquote they just pummel you with these talking points you just hear them over and over and over again and you know that's an example of one but there's, there's tons of them you just hear the same thing over and over and over again so it's very disingenuous to say that because the atheist community follows atheism they don't share a whole lot of ideas Obviously, everyone is not the same, but that, that goes for literally any community in the entire world. Muslims are not a monolith. Atheists are not a monolith. Humans are not a monolith. This guy walking past, there we go. Different angle again. I also think if you apply skeptics' logic to feminism, it means he's basically not allowed to talk about feminism. Because you'd say, hey buddy, I know atheists are just a disbelief in God, but what about feminists? Go look in the dictionary. The dictionary defines feminism as um, a fight for equality and getting women more rights and achieving equality for women. You know, it focuses primar primarily on women, but men can be involved. That's allowed. And then Mr. Skeptic with his stupid armor will be like, oh yeah, but what about these feminists over here? They're pretty bad. You'd be like, well, feminism is just what it says in the dictionary. It's just this, so that doesn't count. Yeah, but they say they're feminists. Well, I mean, they went off the dictionary. You know, just like you can be like, oh, those atheists are disgusting. Oh, yeah, but they're not that way because of atheism, you know. They're not really connected to us. Atheism is just a disbelief in God. I could use the same logic for feminism. Like, oh, feminism's just fighting for equality. It's just about equality, so, I mean, they're not with us. How? But, no, you wouldn't allow that, would you? You know, it... it can only apply to your own community and your own people. If you try to apply it to something else, like feminism, instantly you're like, that's so disingenuous because like, I know many feminists and feminists, well, they're real radical and they're real bad. We're like, well, yeah, well, so uh, atheists, they're all real radical and they're real bad. No, 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 it's different than atheists. It's just disbelief in God, you know, you can't really criticize them. Also, Islam's not a race, yeah. Disingenuous. 
For example, there's a form of feminism that is sex negative. Don't you think people might have a problem with the idea of sex negative feminism joining forces with the Taliban because they both think that women should be covered up in public? Holy shit, are you serious? Feminists actually partnered with the Taliban to make women cover up. That sounds truly horrible. And wow, I, I think that's real bad. So, I mean, you know, being a great skeptic, you're going to provide us with some evidence or like an article or, you know, citation about that, eh? Oh, you're not. Okay. Totally legitimate to notice trends within that community or body of work and to propose that something be done to change those trends that I find troubling. Oh, that you find troubling. You see, Stephen, a community is made up of individuals. Individuals with different ideas, thoughts, concepts, opinions, and different approaches to tackle the same issues. What you're proposing here, Stephen, is that we police atheist communities so that they are no longer troubling to you. Holy shit. I mean, I've been standing up for Steve Shives, and he wants to police the atheist community? That sounds terrible too. Like, how's he gonna do that? Like, how? How's he gonna do that? Is he gonna use, like, a, some kind of police force or something? Does he have, like, some kind of military thing going on? Like, how is Steve Shives gonna police the community? He's gonna express that he doesn't like certain things that they say or certain things they do? Wow. That is really. That's. That's fucking cold. You know? I think that the atheist community is too fragile to put up with that kind of thing. And if Steve Scheitz comes along and says, Hey guys, I think your language is problematic. How the fuck are weak as atheists gonna deal with that situation? I mean, that's just tyranny. As Ahmed Skeptic was saying, you know, the atheist community is all about different opinions, basically. And it's not about bullying, and it's not about trying to be better than other people. It's just like expressing really good positive ideas. And when somebody comes along and calls something problematic, that idea is not tolerable. That's a horrible idea. That's like fucking Mao. That's like Hitler. We can't have ideas like that in the atheist community because we're all about our ideas. We're not about other ideas. We're not about feminism. We're not about other concepts. So you can't you see the fucking hypocrisy here? It's total... It's pure hypocrisy. It's just like... Steve Shives said that it's problematic. Oh my god, we are persecuted. Our lives are over. Well, so much for your thing about sharing different opinions. Actually, a lot of the atheist community is a fucking echo chamber. It's a total fucking echo chamber. And it goes to show you, with someone like Armored Skeptic, who can just say shit, and all his fans are like, yeah, good point. No, back it up! Back things up! This is, this is not being a skeptic. Modern atheism has largely rejected other regressive attitudes. This is exactly the issue that split the atheist community in two when Atheism Plus reared its ugly head. The feminist community started proposing regressive ideas, taking away people's freedom of speech, punishing members for asking questions and proposing new ideas, and publicly shaming people, including women, for not toting the line. Essentially, a group of bullies decided they wanted to police the community because they found it troubling. Like, while this is a decent point, I think it's kind of defeated by the fact that the atheist community, which he's lauding so much, does exactly the same things as so-called social justice warriors and feminists. I have been blocked by lots of people on Twitter, including Lalo Dagogatch, or whatever the fuck his name is, and all I did was disagree with them a lot. Like, there's a guy called GS Spellchecker, and to his absolute credit, he later unblocked me. But we were having an argument, and then he said, What's your citation? For whatever it was that I was talking about. And I was like, You know, I've kind of, I've kind of been burned before by this game of being asked for citations. Because you tend to provide a citation and the people just like sort of ignore you and just keep talking. So unless we're going to have a 
sort of valid debate. I don't really think I want to provide a citation at this time. And he basically took that as just like, I'm perfectly okay with lying and just being a huge liar and I'm a liar and I'm a smear and I'm a bad, bad guy and smear, smear, smear. And he was like, oh, look at this. You don't want to provide evidence for your smears. And I was like, well, it's not a smear. It's just I couldn't really, based on the sort of the past behavior of atheists I've discussed with, I don't know if providing you a citation would really help. And then he's like, oh, typical left-wing regressive you, the blue, you know, you're a liar, all this shit. And so then eventually I was like, you know, my citation was some tweets or whatever. I can't remember the specific conversation. So then I showed him the tweets and I was like, well, here's my citation. And he was like, oh, you've taken it completely out of context. And then he blocked me. Right after I gave him the citation, he blocked me. And I was like, you fucking cunt. You, you just backed up everything I just said. I just said I don't want to provide a citation because you guys, you guys, it's too broad, I know. But people take it out of context and they don't listen and they don't pay attention. They don't really care about the point you're trying to make. They just look at it and they take what they want out of it like, oh, I can see how you've twisted it because you're a liar. And then they block you. And to his great credit, he later realized I wasn't a troll and he unblocked me and I'm still following him today. And I think... I respect the fact that he unblocked me. I don't know if, I mean, I'm just like a small timer, so I don't know if he knew who I was or who, who he was unblocking, but that's cool. I respect that. But there's this other guy, Lalo Dago Gatch or whatever. He's um, like the Chilean atheist or whatever. And we have very different views, like very different views about Islam, very different views about just the world entirely, you know, very different but the annoying thing about people like him is that when I have a different point of view, they paint me as some kind of disgusting, equivocating, obscuritant, moral relativist. And you, you're free to do that. I don't care. It's just really irritating. So I care in the sense that it's irritating. But I'm not going to block anybody unless, A, they spam me. Uh, if I just can't get my channels under control because there's so much spam and there's some particular people who just won't stop spamming, I'll block them. It's not a freedom of speech thing. It's more of a like, just like a physicality thing, like a technical thing. And the other one would be if you're doing something nefarious like doxing or trying to figure out where I live or like doing some legitimate death threats and then you have to call the FBI or some shit. I don't live in America, but I, I'd call whatever our country has. I can't even remember. The Bureau of Stop That. But, um, so I'm totally for this idea of like freedom of speech. But Mr. Skeptic, like your own community of people, like the Lalo Dagogic guy, I just like expressed my displeasure at this constant use of the regressive left. Um, it, it really frustrates me. They just keep calling people names and they can't see the hypocrisy in it. And it is, it's pure hypocrisy. It's just bullshit. You know, when people talk about like, we're going to have a brave new dialogue and then they just call names like, fuck you. That's just bullshit. And I'm, I'm not going to call people names. I'm not, I'm not into that kind of thing. I just want to look at their, arguments and i think you know lelo dagogach or whatever um is a total hypocrite because he blocked me what kind of a fucking i'm not a troll i just am constantly like i don't like this regressive left thing i think it's stupid i think it's hypocritical i think sam harris's points of view and this kind of thing are very bad and troubling and that's freedom of speech i'm allowed to express that and that's all that steve shives is talking about here he's talking about freedom of speech he's talking about freedom don't you like freedom no you don't like it when feminists do it you don't like it when feminists block people and act, act like total wank spanners you know and i don't like it either i don't like it when feminists do that but it doesn't make me decide like feminism is total bunk because some of them are jerk offs uh, but you're willing to give the atheist community like so much credit. Like we're willing to say about these guys that they just share a disbelief in God. And when they block people and when they act like total fucking dipshits, that that's not so bad because they're atheists, you know? So I don't see it on my side, my little crew, my little bunch of dudes, we're fine. We're good. It's them. It's the other, it's the feminists. It's the Muslims, it's the other people, it's the left-wingers, it's the liberals, it's the regressives, it's somebody else. Oh, and by the way, they play identity politics. We don't do that kind of thing. Playing identity politics is something a regressive would do. You know, the white guilt Caucasians, those guys, those people, and the feminists, 
the feminazis. They're the people who play identity politics. Us atheists, we have too much integrity to play. <laughs> Come the fuck on, you guys, man. Get out of your goddamn echo chamber. Listen to other people. This is, again, it's not skepticism. Sorry I keep playing with my glasses, but it's hot as fuck in here and about to self-combust. I bet some of you would like that. Unfortunately, there is also a faction within atheism that is aggressively hostile toward women in general. Citation, please. And outspoken feminists in particular. Okay, that much is true. I love the lack of shame in the way he approaches this discussion. He's like, citation, please, where is your citation? You said something that I don't agree with, so I'm just going to say citation. Oh, there's lots of atheists who don't like women. What? How could a citation? And they don't like feminists. Well, I don't like feminists, so yeah, good point. So it, you're not looking for a citation. You're just looking for him to say shit that you agree with. Otherwise, you'd want citations for both, wouldn't you? But you have an agenda, which is... As you said at the start of this video, debunk feminism. Which means you have a confirmation bias. God damn it. Stop being a hypocrite. This faction is most active here on YouTube. Within it are several of the most subscribed to atheist channels. These regularly feature videos attacking feminists, debunking feminists, spreading misinformation about feminism, reporting on what feminists do, and attempting to undermine efforts to address problems of importance to feminists. Yes, my group is the good group. We are the group that do the good things. The other group are the group that do the bad things. That means that every time you say we're doing something, I'm going to put it in a good light. And then if some other group is doing something I don't like, I'm going to put it in a negative light. But I have no confirmation bias. Oh my god, nobody is denying that sexual assault is still an issue. This is the ultimate feminist straw man. Everybody knows that people still get raped. What we're denying is that there's a rape culture. Nobody's denying that there isn't still sexism out there. What we're denying is that there's a systemic issue of sexism in society. But for some reason, feminists are unable to discern the two concepts from each other. Denying there's a rape culture is not a denial that there is rape rape out there. Denying that there is a systemic issue of sexism in the Western world is not the same thing as denying that there is sexism in the Western world. This shouldn't have to be said, but I've lost count of the number of times I've been called pro-rape and a misogynist because I've denied those things. I also like it when somebody says this is the ultimate straw man of somebody else and then instantly goes on and makes a straw man. So he's like, no one is denying that there's rape. No one is denying that there's misogyny. No, we're just denying that there's a rape culture. Okay, well that's a totally fair point of view, in my opinion. You can deny that there's a rape culture. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break from this video because I gotta go eat lunch. It's hot in this car and stuff. I might come back to it later. But that's the thing. That's a valid position. But when you then go on to say, um, I've been called like a rape apologist and all this kind of stuff, because, and a misogynist, because I deny that a rape culture exists, that's a straw man. Because those critics are probably, and it's just a hunch, talking about other things you've said that are more than just, you know, I don't really believe in the rape culture because of this fact and that fact and these facts, and I feel like it's kind of been debunked and we've been going over this and stuff. No, like, there's a lot of vitriol on, well, I mean, you all know this because you're on the inter internet. There's a lot of vitriol. And there's a lot of vitriol against feminists, and there's a lot of, like, misogynistic, sexist shit that goes on online, and I've seen it. I've just seen it all over the place, so don't give me that citation crap. You know, you know it exists. I'm not saying who it is, I'm not saying it's you, I'm not saying it's Armored Skeptic, but I would not be surprised if he had said other things that had pissed off feminists, not just a denial of rape culture. Anybody who says that you're pro-misogyny and you're pro-rape just because you deny, um, rape culture, is not being fair if you can back that point of view up. If you can't back it up, it's going to be a bit weird because it's going to be like, well, why do you deny this rape culture if you can't back up that point of view? But I would see those people as not being particularly rational or reasonable feminists. And 
those people exist in all kinds of movements and not rational, unreasonable people exist in the atheist community as well. You shouldn't then go on to do your own little straw man where you're like, oh, I, I, there's nothing else. This just, that's it. Just like this rational denial of, that's the only thing that's out there. Rational denial of rape culture. That's all anybody talks about. It's like, there's no other issues. And that's just, that's what feminists are angry about. Like, don't straw man after accusing someone of straw manning. <sighs> Skeptic. Anyways, I might come back to this video another time, but for now I'm going to go get lunch. Leave your hateful comments below. Thank you.